and welcome to the course. This whole certification is designed to help you build powerful and practical AI solutions with Glide. And in this first video, we're going to start from the very core of all this. What even is AI and how do you use it to design better software? So let's start with two really fundamental questions. What are computers and what is software? Computers are physical machines that manipulate electrical signals to process data. And software is really a set of instructions that tells the hardware how to perform tasks. Back in the early days, putting these instructions into the computer was a very manual process. But as we humans get better at making software, we continually make these new layers of instructions that build on top and interweave with each other. At the lowest level, you have the logical operations and data storage. And then at the highest level, you have the user experience. Traditionally, the way that we've built these instructions is by using programming languages. These are very explicit, specific, step-by-step -step ways of telling a computer what and how to do something. Over the last few decades, though, a new way of building software has emerged called machine learning. This is where software is instead trained to perform tasks by learning from huge amounts of data. And then this results in AI models that have a particular set of capabilities. Many AI models are already integrated into our daily lives and have been operating in the background for years. But with recent developments in the way that we train these models, radically new capabilities have emerged in the realm of language, audio, and image. And it's these mediums that bring very new capabilities to the way that we design software. There are many types of AI models out there, and many of them are useful for creating all types of software. But in this course, we're going to focus on three mediums, language, audio, and image. These three mediums largely cover the main ways that we as humans interact with the world. And so they're really powerful features to build into our software. Now, if you've used ChatGPT or anything similar, you've already interacted with a language model. The chat interface of ChatGPT is simply a layer of software on top of the model that lets you interact or prompt it. Now, the models that power these chat interfaces are increasingly becoming what's known as multimodal models. In other words, they also deal with audio, image, and other types. But for the sake of this course and the way that we work with them in Glide, we're just gonna refer to them as language models. Simply put, language models are predicting the next word. They are just trained on most of the words on the internet, so they're just really good at it. Now, this text-based medium, as you'll see in this course, is powerful, not just because it can interact with data, documents, and code, but because predicting language results in something very special. Language is very connected with thought and reason. It's definitely not the same, though. These models don't think in the way that you and I do, but their behavior of prediction allows us to design features in our software that seems and acts very human-like. If we give these language models the right information, context, and instructions, we can really guide them to make valuable analysis, formatting, come up with ideas, or whatever it is that we need in a text-based medium. And because this medium of text is so useful, we can also use other models to bring in things like my voice, a paper document, or just the things that I see around me. And then our software, the language model, can use that information for whatever it is that we're trying to build. So the models that we're going to be using in this course are text to text, which is the general purpose language models we've been talking about, image to text, which is recognizing and labeling objects in images, document to text, which is where you convert documents or files into text, and audio to text, which is converting spoken language into text. The ultimate goal of this course is to help you use AI practically. AI is a buzzy, exciting term these days, but at the end of the day, we want to use it to build tools that speed up real processes in your work. We're going to look at the different parts of the Glide AI toolkit, and we'll dive into lots of different examples. Many of these examples will also be built in templates that you can copy and learn from yourself. By the end of this course, you'll know how to build in new AI-based features in your app, like transcribing and summarizing voice notes, extracting and digitizing information from paper-based processes, and just generally how to auto clean up, extract, structure, and format your data in the ways that you need. As you go through this course, think about 
all the different things that make up the activities of your business or your client's business and ask yourself, could this stuff be brought in with AI to build in new processes or tools or system? Can you design new workflows and functionality around this stuff that might be paper-based or just unstructured that would ultimately improve the way that you or your clients operate?